Welcome to the Malix Minute, ladies and gentlemen, starring the Markley Brothers as Malix, Linus, and the Snuffle Fungus. I like the new theme song. I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Linus, what do you think of the new theme song? Eh, it'll do. You must help me, young Ultra Snuffy. I'm in desperate need of popularity for my alcoholic self. That was an awfully coherent thing you just said, President Anchorman. President Anchorman, the presidential election is only days away, and Brian McPopular is a very promising candidate. You can't just recruit somebody at the last minute to make you popular and beat him. But the McPopular one is evil inside. His soul boils inside him like a churn and chewy caramel center of death and deadly destruction. Brian McPopular is evil? That's awfully poetic, but what proof do you have? Haven't you ever heard of a woman's intuition before? I have, and it frightens me. Whatever you say, I like Brian McPopular. He promised free, ultra-high-speed internet connectivity to all artificial intelligences within 30 days of his election to the office of president. He did? And he promised that all the bunnies of the world would be given loving homes. Really? Yeah, don't you pay attention, Malix? I thought I'd been paying attention pretty closely. He said a lot about reducing taxes for everybody, withdrawing government tampering from what should be private sectors, and shifting power more in the direction of local governments. I don't understand what you just said. That's all new to me. In fact, I heard him say that he would be taxing everybody lots harder, increasing minimum wage, and providing food and health care to everyone, whether they work or not. But that would crash the economy. It would erode people's feelings of control over their own circumstances, ultimately leading to a lack of motivation to better themselves. More to the point, that's in direct contradiction to what I heard him say. So what? All politicians lie. It just means they'll be great at their jobs. But I never heard him say what you just said he said. It's a cold, cold hill, this slippery slope of eviscerating the truth. Also, donkeys. Does everybody else here like donkeys? President Anchorman, what are you saying? Who am I to know? You make some very good point there. Is Brian McPopular lying to everyone? He has built for himself an atrocity of steel and wool, and this steel wool is the lies machine. The lies machine? Through its dastardly workings, the words of this evil man sound like candy to a baby, but really they sting like butter. Oh, he means that everybody hears what they want to hear. Of course. How do you know what he's saying? Well, we'll just clear this up right now. Let's call Brian McPopular and see what he has to say for himself. Great idea. Hello. May I hurt you? Yes, hi. Uh, we're just regular citizens interested in voting in the upcoming election. We've all been quite happy with your campaign so far, but we were hoping you could address a few minor inconsistencies. If elected, I will murder you, and I will take your wife and belongings as spoil. Yes, and let me tell you, I'm the first to get behind you on that. Me too! But we were hoping to hear more about your opinions on big versus small government. My taxes will be the burden that breaks your frail spine. Your children will inherit your debt to me, and they will shed the tears of a thousand weeping angels. See, he's for small government. That's not what I heard, floppy gums. Mr. McPopular, are you lying to us? Yes. See, I knew we could trust him. Well, thanks for your time, Mr. McPopular. Good luck in the upcoming election. Vote for me. We will. Did you really hear him talking about small government? Yes. The proof is in the pudding, dear angels. In time, you'll run out of time. And then where will we be? There's a chance it will turn out all right, but, but not for us. No, no. If there was ever a time for mixing grape juice with salicylic acid, it would be a chance for you and I to do the blueberry waltz. Finally, he stopped talking. Fair maiden, I will be finished when I'm finished and not a penny less. That man is evil and he should not be elected. I am finished. So the lies machine must be real. It must be taking whatever he really says and distorting it so that everybody hears what they want to hear. What can we do? His last big speech before the election is tomorrow. Wait, this could be a good thing. That speech is going to be televised live. If we can destroy his lies machine, the whole nation will hear whatever it is that he's really saying. That sounds like a job for Ultra Snuffy. Hurry, find the machine and destroy it. Before you go, dear Ultra Peppa, would you fly me around the block? I, I've always wanted to be the lowest lane to your Superman. Uh, 
No, I, I've got to hurry. Uh, of course, of course you do. I, I apologize. I will instead take a rain check on your generous offer. In the meantime, gentlemen, where do you keep your pancakes? Later, after the election. Wow, that was quite an exciting election. I'll say. Who knew that Brian McPopular would threaten the entire nation with bodily harm on national television two days before the election? I don't like Brian McPopular anymore. The only thing is, now we get President Anchorman in office for another term. Well, yeah, but at least he said he cares about the well-being of the nation. He also said that your eyelashes make you look fat. Yeah. So what's the moral of this story, Malix? Perhaps, Linus, the moral of the story is that charisma and eloquence are worthless when it comes to public office. And that good intentions and a constant haze of incoherent drunkenness are the way to go. Uh, maybe the system is just broken. Yeah, I think it is. Today's episode is copyright 2008 by Alex Markley. This was a production of the Malix Media Network. Please visit us online at malixminute.com for production credits, extras, and a complete archive of classic episodes. God bless and have a great day. Welcome to your life. But I, I don't see anything. Precisely. There's nothing of any value in here. Let's move along. Okay.